Young at Heart by Pam Young My Declaration of Independence It was 2 a.m. and I sat sniveling in my pajamas at my computer. I had decided to call my sister in the morning before our families got together for the 4th of July festivities and tell her I would not be writing a humorous book about organizing household finances with her. The reason was simple. I had no business telling anyone what to do when it came to money. At the not-so-tender age of 59, I had no retirement, no savings, and I was $26,000 in credit card debt. The book we were to write together would absolutely get me out of debt, but my ethics would not allow me to be part of a lie. No way could I write a do-as-I-say-not-as-I-do book. That was July 4, 2002, and one of those major pivotal moments in my life. I know how George Bailey in the movie A Wonderful Life felt standing on the bridge contemplating suicide. Although I was never even close to doing that, I sent out a major request. Help me, God, help me. God breezes can come in strange ways. My God breeze came in the form of a question. How old have you been acting when it comes to your finances? I'd never put an age to my financial behavior. It was hard to answer the question at first, so I asked a question. I don't know, like, what do you mean? Well, think about it, the questioner continued. You're 59 years old, and you aren't concerned in the least about your retirement. You have the optimism of a child. When you see something you want, you charge it. You use your credit cards as if they're your source of income. You know that what the experts on finance all say is true, but you don't want to mind them. Should I go on? No, I get it. The list made me think of my granddaughter Mackenzie. I had just taken her shopping, and she was a little I-want-it machine. She had no concern for the cost or how she'd pay for it. She just wanted it now. She was nine years old. Okay, nine, I said to my interrogator. Yes, Pam Young, you have an inner child, age nine, who has been running your books, and if you want to help others who are in similar financial circumstances, get to know this little one, name her, get her cooperation, and you will get out of debt. Oh, and you will enjoy the ride. An angel came to me that night, but she wasn't an old man with a copy of Tom Sawyer's Huckleberry Finn. She was a little girl with pigtails, freckles, and a pouty mouth. She is my inner child, complete with all the attributes of a nine-year-old, including the immaturity. As you may know, I named her Nellie after Nellie Olson on Little House on the Prairie because that Nellie was a real brat. I even built a website in her honor and called it The Brat Factor because, to be honest, I saw my inner child as an out-of-control brat, which she was at the time. On July 4, 2012, I not only celebrated our Declaration of Independence, I celebrated my conscious relationship with Nellie. I no longer call Nellie a brat, and I've changed the name of my website to Make It Fun and It Will Get Done, which of course was Nellie's idea. In 10 short years, she has gone from a brat to a happy child, and with her cooperation, I was able to get out of debt, lose 40 pounds, and I'm enjoying my life with childlike joy. Let's live by her motto, make it fun and it will get done, and watch what happens. Thank you.